Hi, I'm John, and today I'm going to be talking about my switch from Linux Mint back to Kubuntu. I've done another distro hop again. This time I went from Mint to Kubuntu, and the reason why is a couple of different reasons. I still love the KDE Plasma desktop. It's still my favorite. Uh, once I tried it uh, with Kubuntu before, uh, I just fell in love with it, and I went, this is really the best desktop there is in Linux. And I still think it is. Cinnamon is nice, but it's not as up-to-date looking, and there's just something about uh, Plasma that's fantastic, and I know why people rave about it, uh, because that's what I'm doing. Uh, you know, Mint's a great operating system, and it really is solid. And, and I know that it's always going to be there in a... Uh, a great uh, distribution that's that's going to be solid and it's going to be uh, something that's not going to fault out on you or anything like that. I would say that's the case with most Linux distributions. But one of the things I didn't like about it was that when I would put KDE Plasma on top of it for the desktop, it didn't always work so well. And sometimes it would fault and uh, have some problems and it was using an older version of KDE Plasma and I could have used something newer but uh, I didn't want to do that because I thought I'm probably inviting more problems so I decided to go back to Kubuntu and I put this on all my machines and I'm really liking it all over again because I like I say love the Plasma desktop it's great but I guess uh, one of the other reasons why I did this was just having to do with the software manager. First off, I'm, I'm just going to say what I got. The Kubuntu 23.04, which is the Ubuntu Lunar Lobster uh, version uh, that was just released not too long ago. And uh, with the KDE Plasma desktop version 5.27.4. And then the Linux kernel is 6.2. So, uh, and some odd little number, whatever. Uh, but this has worked better than it did before. When I had tried Kubuntu before, it, it had some glitchiness even then with the Plasma desktop. I was having some issues, and it was consistent across three machines. So whatever bugs there were, they're gone because I've run this for days, and it hasn't had any problems at all, and I've been really pleased with with how it's been functioning. I feel like it's just as solid as what I was using with Mint, but I'm getting the nice Plasma desktop, which I love, and uh, the latest and greatest kernel. Uh, and some people say, well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I think it does if, if your hardware's uh, you know, pretty well up to date. It's nice to have the, the latest and greatest kernel, and, uh, and same thing with Plasma as well. Um, it just seems to work out really well, and I'm so pleased with it, and I'm doing fine using all sorts of different applications. And that gets me to what I'm going to say next, is one of the things I wanted this for was that I was going to be uh, reviewing some of these software packages. And in Linux Mint, I, I found that some of the software packages weren't as plentiful, and there wasn't as many that I would say, yeah, I really want to try that. And some of them were so cryptic that you couldn't possibly, you know, really know what they were for necessarily, uh, necessarily if you were an average user. But it was different uh, with KDE Plasma Desktop, the Discover uh, Packet, uh, Discover Software Manager uh, really is. Uh, nice it's it's laid out well and you get a really good feel for what's available uh, just a second here uh, really what's available and uh, you can also use this with flat packs you can uh, direct it uh, there's a direction to do that uh, when you download it'll tell you where the flat pack is and activating that uh, so you can get uh, uh, programs uh, from Flatpak repositories. And it just seems to do a great job. And I even tried KDE Connect uh, this time, 
and it worked out really well where I was able to text and do things uh, through my phone and uh, just do it on my desktop. KDE Connect worked really well this time. It didn't work so well last time I tried Kubuntu. And this is before a lot of the changes that they made and so forth. So I am going to be reviewing a lot of these uh, um, programs within uh, Kubuntu, and we're just going to see how they work. There's so many different selections, but the way the, the software manager is laid out, uh, they call it Discover, it's just really great. And there's all sorts of different uh, programs to... Uh, to deal with and um, really pleased with it and it, it's going to make it easier for me because when I was going to do some reviewing of some of these programs uh, doing it in Mint would have been more difficult and not as plentiful I don't think or as as finished as most of these programs are in here uh, you know there's some more obscure stuff and quite a bit of obscure stuff in Mint that you know, you can get a lot of these things that'll work in Mint, uh, but there was a lot of obscure stuff that I would just never touch. So anyway, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm back to KDE Plasma, loving it. Um, I had tried uh, KDE Neon before. Uh, that seemed kind of buggy, believe it or not, with the Plasma desktop. And uh, I don't know, people might argue with me on that. I put it on top of Mint. I, I did some other things. I tried it on other distributions and different versions of those distributions. I even tried it on top of uh, 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 Mint, uh, Mate. Uh, I, I tried it just on a lot of different things. You know, I kept coming back to the fact that I wanted to get back to KDE Plasma. It, it really is, I think, the nicest uh, desktop that you could have out there. And so, you know, you, uh, you distro hop and, you know, one guy told me in the comments not all that long ago, he said, well, it won't be your last time. Even though I said, this was it. I'm not hopping anymore. I'm tired of the frustration. But I did because I, I just couldn't let it go. I, I really wanted that plasma desktop. And so I was really happy about it. So I'm going to be talking about... Over the next uh, uh, year, I'm going to try to really go into a number of these programs just to uh, just to talk about them, and uh, it just makes it easier with this desktop. There's no doubt about it. And OBS is working great. Uh, you get pretty much the latest and greatest version of that too. If you're doing something like this. Uh, along with uh, LibreOffice and all the other different applications that you can get. So uh, really pleased about it, and uh, I'm going to be enjoying this, I think, for the next year or so. So, yeah, I distro hopped again from Linux Mint to Kubuntu, and I'm really pleased with what I'm seeing so far with KDE Plasma. It's just working great, not buggy anymore. I've complained about the bugginess, and I don't like to do that because I think all these distributions are really good. A lot of them are really good. It just gets down to a matter of what is going to be your favorite, what you like, and what's going to work best for you. And if you're an average user like me, uh, you just want something that's going to really work, but you want something that looks great, that you can stare at all day uh, when you're doing your work, and uh, not get tired of, and uh, I, I really like this, and, and even things like KDE Connect, man, that worked better than, than it ever has in anything I've used, so uh, this is uh, my new uh, desktop, this is my new uh, distribution that I'm going to be sticking with now. I'll be getting on to these individual programs here over time, and uh, that's pretty much it. I'll say it again. I'm done distro hopping. <laughs> uh, that's not true. Uh, it's probably going to happen again. But uh, I always like Kubuntu. And uh, I'm back. And I, I'm pleased. I'm happy with it. 
You have a great day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.